The Kansas City Chiefs brought two things with them to the LA Chargers that made the difference. They brought the hunt and the heat. Let's break it down. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ryan. This is me going rogue. This is the Tuesday breakdown, giving you my thoughts. I have a lot for you today. We're going to get into the film a little bit because I want to show you the drive and the process of how you seal a ball game because Spags taught us a lot. That's coming up a little bit later. We're going to start right now with the surprise. And I have to admit right off the bat, I was wrong. If you want to know why, like and sub and hit the bell. Thanks for your support. Join the memberships if you're into and you're going to get the extra content. I was wrong about Kareem Hunt coming back. I didn't think he'd quite have uh, the legs after being out so long and honestly having a couple of injuries the last couple of years in Cleveland uh, to actually come in and make a difference like this. But he is in shape. He's done his work. And I'm glad to see it. Now, this is a, a Kylo Ren story because he is going to make his redemption arc. We know what happened to Fallout. I never actually thought that Clark Hunt would accept him back into the Chiefs fold, but they have. And he made the most of it. So kudos to Kareem Hunt for trying to redeem himself for everything that's come in the past, and he got off to a great start. He brought the intensity, he brought the vision, he brought the veteran presence to get it done. And despite uh, an effort from Carson Steele that's got a couple of hiccups, he does show some promise as well. You need a second, and honestly now, a lead back in Isaiah Pacheco's absence. That is Kareem Hunt. He will be your load carrier as much as he can be as he works back into shape. But he had the explosiveness, he had some cut ability, he understands where he's going, and he has the vision that I think only experience brings to make that difference. Now, I expect that they'll expand the passing game role a little bit as things go forward, but this is a good story for him, and it's a good story for the Chiefs because they need all the help they can get because of the Rasheed Rice issue. And right now, we don't know that injury or how it's going to resolve, so can't really address that as we're waiting for more tests. We'll hit that later in the week. But I want to get to the clinic that Steve Spagnuolo put on about how you confuse a quarterback and attack them when they are most vulnerable, when they're trying to come back in a game that is tight. This is how they closed it out against the Chargers. Let's jump into the film room. Okay, we are doing the drive from first Chargers meeting week four against the Kansas City Chiefs. And what's really important to know here is this is going to be a shift they're giving a soft edge. This is Drew Tranquil way out here trying to show her, hey, you can run this direction. And what they're going to do as they inch forward is they're going to switch it up. FAU is going to slide out to this position, and Tranquil is going to replace him, giving Sailor a different view and definitely something that you can't just run a stretch this direction because now you have an actual defensive end out there. As the play moves forward, you can see the motion is coming with it, and they were going to go the other way anyway. But it still remains important because Chris Jones – comes off this block right here and is able to just punch up, get his ground, get underneath. And here's the thing. It's not just about, yes, he's getting moved backward just a little bit, but he sheds right there with that left hand. He shoves underneath and gets off real quick. It's, it's the power here. Watch this live as Chris goes, boom, and he's loose. He's got one arm wrapped around the runner, and FAU comes and cleans it up. That is a group effort, but they got it done. Here we are, another really interesting play that's going to be about Drew Tranquil. A lot going on with him this season, and everybody's not that happy, but this is a really unique look. This is late in the game. This is the final drive for the Chargers as it worked out, and Spags is really trying to push Herbert and everybody else. This play is actually going to revolve around what Drew Tranquil is doing to try and mix up Justin Herbert. It doesn't work out because of the play here, and what you see – uh, this is actually going to be designed away, but this is a great fake out because watch what Drew Tranquil does from his linebacker spot with single high over here. As he rolls forward, he's diving deep. Remember, he used to be a safety, and now he is a good, what, 23 yards down the field? I'm sorry. That's rough at 18 yards down the field. As a true safety, you've got Josh Reynolds running down the middle, and he's taken away in a two high shell with a middle robber. And that is a look that Steve Spagnuolo likes to use. And it's all because of the transition that happened up here. So you have plenty of guys here. Shamari Connor, look at this. He's stalking. He's watching. He's watching the guy cross. Now he even lets Herbert take a look out here at what Johnson's doing. Because Shamari is going to be the guy that is also going to make a big move and drop to that middle robber zone. 
And that is something that is a lane changer right here. Chamari Connor, Drew Tranquil making this difference because if he throws this ball anywhere underneath, thinking that his guy's coming loose, they are in position to take the ball away. You see how all the wide receivers are bracketed here. Plenty of zone coverage. And that's why it ends up being a decent play for them because they go away to the far side on the little single screen. And he does break a tackle. Good move there. That was Brian Cook. Sorry, Brian, not your greatest week. I'm a fan, but not your greatest week. And that's how they got something on the Chiefs that set them up for the rest of this drive. Download the free autograph app right now. You can watch your favorite creators in Chiefs Kingdom like RGR on this app, listen to the podcast and read the articles and get points for everything you do that lead to the big rewards. Download Autograph for free from our link below or use the code RGR. Next, the Chargers wanted to really, really play with running the ball. They were very unsuccessful the whole day. And this is part of it. This looks like a formation with a three-man line that you want to run against. There's, uh, I believe this is Karloft is out wide. So four-man line just shifted drastically over. And Trent McDuffie kind of manning no man's land here where you think he's waiting for the tight end to come off and he's going to take him to single coverage. But watch how this play progresses. And that is that Trent McDuffie can trigger, but he sees at the snap, as soon as the ball is gone, he is coming downhill. He doesn't even look at the tight end here. As soon as the ball comes off and he understands he is shot out of a gun, comes straight down and takes a nice tackle. Yeah, he went low. That's fine. He wraps him up and makes the play. This is what Spags is doing, playing after playing after playing off of the same kind of keys. Trent McDuffie is the all-around player we're looking for. Now, this play is classic Spags. He's going to give you one look and show you something completely different once the ball is snapped. Look at Nick Bolton, George Karloftis, and Drew Tranquil right here with Justin Reed. This looks like a uh, uh, three, two kind of look with uh, Lucian Ellis overhang over here. Uh, three down linemen, three linebackers, a three, three. And that makes you think that you can probably run against it. But the truth is that ain't happening. Because as soon as the ball is snapped, you see this develop. Drew Tranquil beats his man soundly. Justin Reed's coming as well. And this leads to any kind of play action that Herbert wanted to do is thwarted with Tranquil coming right at him. He does get the ball off. But I believe that the inaccuracy is completely due to the rush of Drew Tranquil. Now, again, boom, this comes off. He beats his guy soundly inside. This is an inside attack against a tackle. And the play action is maybe not the greatest. And it allows, with Herbert's back turn, the Drew Tranquil just bear down with everybody else coming around. Chris Jones is out there, too. Now they completed that. That is a tough play to make for Leo Chanel. But he's beaten that tackle out there, too. This is another sound concept of putting weak side pressure on from Steve Spagnuolo and it ended up making the difference against Justin Herbert. And this is the play of the game. A lot of hubbub being made about Chris Jones and being out on the edge at times. You have a tight end out here supposedly trying to block him. They ought to look at the personnel in some packages, I'm just saying. But this is another Spags that builds off the previous play when he sent a couple of guys in strange formations giving a different look. This is Bolton in the middle, Connor, Reed, spread out with FAU and Turk across from Karloft is inside. And what happens is, oh no, Justin Herbert, you need to try to get some done. The motion ain't going to help you because here we come. And this is what happens. Nick Bolton covering to the side. Reed's coming down the pike. FAU around the end. And Chamari coming as well. Chris Jones is solo out here on a tight end. And that's important because that block is not going to happen for very long. You see that Nick Bolton has now faded back, and whether it's a spy or whether it's just trying to, to man the middle, that's what he's doing. And you get this combination of a, a backdrop. They are forsaking this entire side of the line because Nick Bolton is going to move to a middle zone, and George Karloftis is actually going to peel off of the play. And boom, he's into a zone drop as well. You can see, yes, Turk's coming across the center's face trying to get in the opposite A gap, which does draw the guard's attention, but they are forsaking this side because they know that they're bringing overload from the other. Read right up the gut, occupies somebody. The tackle has not even seen Shamari Connor because he's out here on FAU, and Connor just accelerates through, flushes Herbert up, and Jones cleans it up. You watch this real time. Uh, FAU kind of got in there right at the end as well. Chris had him here, but that is that yeah, could be argued a half sack each. This is a play that came by design of Steve Spagnolo, Putting one thing in motion and doing something completely different in order to get the play. Connor finishes the flush. Jones finishes the play. Chiefs 
finish the heat and get out with a win. And that's the way that it works. A clinic. That's how you attack uh, an offense and keep them from being able to do what they want to do. That certainly helped win this ballgame, and it will help win many, many more. Like, sub, hit the bell, become part of Rogue Nation. That's our membership group and the name of our Discord. Only members get in, so join that membership at the rookie level or above below on the button and get in there. Thanks to our sponsors who help us out every single week. We appreciate you, and we're looking forward to it. So let's get after it and see what happens next. Tomorrow is Dan on the film room, the advanced stats and all the predictions with Gary on Thursday. We're going to break it down on a game preview coming up as well as the Sunday night post game, the Monday night post game this week. Sunday night will be a little bit different. We have a lot for you. Thanks for being with us. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. Click these videos to see more, and subscribe to RGR Football.